Your Brix is at negative two and it's time to do a residual sugar test. We want to make sure that the fermentation has gone to completion before adding the malolactic culture in order to start the malolactic fermentation. So to begin, we take a sample of wine from the wine pod I just drew out a few minutes ago. We take a clinitus tablet that I'm going to cut open in order to have it prepared for when I'm ready to add it to the sample. Next, we're going to take a one millimeter pipette, one milliliter pipette, sorry, and we're going to drop a 0.5 milliliter sample of the wine. Don't forget to put your finger at the top of the pipette in order to keep the wine where you want it to be. Right now, it's at exactly 0.5, so that's great. Now you want to add the sample to the test tube, at the bottom of the test tube. And you want it to be a 0.5 milliliter sample because the amount of wine in the sample really does affect how the outcome of the test comes out. Then you want to take your clinic test tablet that we so conveniently cut open already and just drop it in to the test tube. Now we get to watch the fireworks as the sample boils. It's going to take a little, just a little bit to get going, but once it does, it's going to get really hot. So hold the t test tube at the top. And also watch as it boils. It's going to go through this dark blue color. Well, we want it to go through this dark blue color at the beginning of the color chart as it's boiling, which it is right now. It's starting to go dark green. And now it's starting to get like this brownish hue. With red wines, you have to be careful with this test because the pigments in the red wines do affect the outcome. With white wines, you don't have to worry about it and you want to look for a 0.2% reading on white wines. With red wines, because of the pigments, we watch the color as it boils to make sure it goes through this dark blue 0% color. And then as it cools, about 30 seconds after it boils, we compare it to the color chart, and we're looking for it to be about 0.4 or less. If it's 0.6, wait another day before testing the residual sugar again. But if it's at 0.4, like this sample is at point four, we're ready to add the malolactic culture and start malolactic fermentation. And that's how you do a residual sugar test.